it's Halloween. It's almost Halloween. It's okay. Once upon a time, these towels were as white as these towels. Hi, it's Unis from Theory of Simple. And at your request, I am doing a video on my nighttime skincare routine. Many of you asked after a short video that I did several months ago, because it was such an easy morning routine, what do you do for your evening skincare routine? And actually my skincare routine is actually pretty simple as well. Also, I'm dealing with some rosacea, so it's a little bit more involved in the sense that I'm very careful about the products and things that I use on my skin. So I'm gonna go over that today in the video. I have been struggling with rosacea for probably a couple of years, really, when I think back on it, ever since I got the vaccine, I, I got a breakout on my face and it just, I don't know, it just didn't become the same anymore. And so I've noticed that my skin is a lot more sensitive now. So I'm a little cautious about things that I use on my face and I'm extra cautious about cleanliness, about making sure that I wash my hands before I touch my face and things like that. So one of the things I do do now is A, I wash my hands before I floss my teeth or anything. I do all of my flossing and brushing prior to doing anything to my face because once I have it done, I don't want rinsing of my mouth and everything to get any sort of serums and stuff that I've already put on my face washed off. So I always start off with brushing and flossing my teeth and brushing my hair and getting my hair pulled up out of the way so I can get into my skincare routine. Now I used to use cotton pads and some sort of makeup remover to remove my makeup, but I was finding that I was having to rub really hard on my eyes and I felt that that was also exacerbating any issues that I had. So now I use a balm like this. And what I like about a balm is that I can leave it on my face for a little bit. So I just take a pretty good amount if I have makeup on, I, I put that on my face and I just go over it, just get it on there. I'm not careful about it, but I start with just my skin like this and get all of my skin kind of covered. So I can get this to start melting all of the makeup off of my face. And once I have that in, then I will go in and start to gently, this is gonna look lovely here, right? I gently just rub the mascara and eyeliner off of my skin, right like this. Yeah, I know it's gonna look horrible. It's gonna look horrible. I'm not worried about looking horrible for you. This is how I do it. And I can kind of tell by feeling it's Halloween. It's almost Halloween. It's okay. Plus I'm sick. I, I got something from my grandkids. Now, the biggest thing I'm going to tell you about this is I use one of these and it is a dry disposable cloth. I'm going to get it wet here. And the reason why I do that is exactly from what I showed you. Once upon a time, these towels were as white as these towels. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in the coloration. All of my washcloths went from being pure white to being horrible. What I like about these cloths is that they have a side that's more textured and a side that's more smooth. And I'll use the more textured side to get the makeup off my face and then the smooth side to get it off around my eyes. And that gets it really clean. So now this is all wet and I'll start by wiping off my face. You can see here, right like that. I get the main part of my face wiped off, wiped off first. All of my skin part wiped off first. So I can get all that makeup off and then I will move on to my eyes. Then I'll take a cleaner corner of this and start to gently wipe my eye makeup off. So this allows me to get all of my makeup pretty much off with this towel. Now you can see this took off a lot of stuff off my face, all of my makeup, but now I'm going to rinse it off and wipe again. Just to make sure I have everything off. 
now as you can see there's still a little bit of makeup coming off my face and now I'm going to start to wash my face and I'm going to use the same cloth to wash my face now. Um, I use this. I use um, this acne foaming cleanser. For some reason this has really been helpful with my rosacea and I just use like, I don't know, I can't see what, it was a pea size amount and I put that on my face and this has been helping the rosacea the little bumps and stuff for me that have been coming in to my skin. Um, I don't really get up in the eye area too much with this, but I just leave this in here. And now I'm gonna take the same cloth, rinse it again. See now it's pretty clean, it's the same cloth. So it rinses out really well, number one. But I get a clean cloth every night that I have makeup on to clean my face. And you'll see, even with the cleanser, there's still a little bit of makeup and stuff coming off. So this towel is able to get everything off for me. Usually I'm not a big fan of single use things, but when I'm dealing with something like rosacea and things like that, this to me is something that's worth it. It has helped me get some of this cleared up. I don't have the big red blotchy spots on my face anymore. And I think it's because I'm using something like this. This is made of 100% rayon and it's a, a like a wood pulp fiber and it's biodegradable. So I know that when I'm throwing this away, it's something that's not going to be sitting in a landfill forever. It's something that, um, you know, will break down. And also because it is made out of natural fibers, I feel like it's better for the environment and better for my face. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when I have gone on trips and I don't wanna bring like a whole box, I brought a few of these with me because when I'm at someone else's house, I don't wanna get makeup all over their towels and make their towels look dingy and gross. I've actually let these dry out, rinsed them out, washed them, let them dry and have reused them. They're, they're that durable that um, I've actually just read. Um, let me try to share it and let me test what it's like. I am, that took a bit for me to even tear this apart. Um, so this will hold up. If I'm, if I'm traveling and I want to take a few of these with me, um, three of these will last me like the whole week because I can use them, you know, two days in a row, just let it dry out. So they're just a nice thing to have. I keep a box of these right here like this. I just keep them right here on my uh, vanity, what little vanity space I have, and use these just to get up and sit and get clean whenever, especially when I have makeup on. Now, if I, I don't have makeup on, I just use a plain white, you know, washcloth on my face to try to save using some of these. But um, it, anytime that I'm filming your makeup off, that is definitely what I use. Oh, and one last thing that I do with this rag is when it's done at the end of the day or whenever I'm done using it, I use it to really wipe down the inside of my sink because you know how that makeup is. It, gets in that white sink it's just always nasty looking so I always get in here and I just wipe out my sink with this and that way it helps get all that little bit of extra makeup or whatever's left in my sink out and my sink actually stays relatively clean then by doing that and I don't have to clean it with harsh chemicals all the time this just helps me keep on top of it All right, the next thing I put on my face is um, this 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I do not use a harsh exfoliant on my skin, especially with rosacea. Um, it just makes it worse. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't use any scrubs or anything like that. And I just put it in my hand and I pull it and I just keep it here. It's mostly in this part of my face and up here. I don't go near the eye area too much. I just kind of keep it here. I just really need it for kind of the rosacea that's happening. And I want that to dry. So I, I want it to dry and I'm impatient. So I use a fan because <laughs> my eyes need to dry before I go to my next step. Um, and so sometimes when I'm impatient, I just use a fan like this. All right, now that I have that on there, I will now put on my uh, lotion. This is a reparative lotion. Um, it's a, um, it's called Rescue and Repair Intensive Moisturizer. And I use this because even though I have rosacea, I do need to keep my skin a little bit moist. I don't use a lot. 
that little amount there and I just moisturize my face. All right. Let's go down into my neck with it. There's enough, that little amount. You don't need a whole lot. And yeah, I just kind of push that all in here. And that's my moisturizer right now. So I bet some of you are wondering, do I use retinol or Trentoin or whatever it is on my face? And the answer is no, I do not. Um, I have tried some of those things and it just made my rosacea worse. So I have in the stage right now where I'm just trying to get my skin barrier to repair itself. And I may try those later. I've even done things where I've tried just once a week and I've tried it over the top of moisturizer. For some reason, some of those things just cause me to have a reaction to it. So I just don't use any of those things. And do I use an eye cream? The answer is no. Um, I'm kind of skeptical about a lot of those things. So I'm gonna tell you my next step though is this. Um, I love Aquaphor or Vaseline and some people call it slugging, but I just call it, I just put a little bit here like where there's little crow's feet that need a little bit of a, a little extra love or something like that. And um, I put it in the corner of my eyes. I'll tell you why. Because in the morning when I wake up and you have a little bit of sleepy sand in there, I hate having to scrub that and pick it out of there. So I take a little and put it in the corner and then I run along just my lower lashes like this, just to give it so that sleepy sand doesn't really stick to you know, eyelash. I just kind of go along my eyelashes like that. And it keeps it a little bit more moist. And of course, for my lips, I always, Have a little on my lips and then I get a little dry spot on my nose here just uh, I just I don't know it's a little dry spot again I get a little bit right here I mean especially now when I have a cold for my grandchildren and my blowing my nose a lot I'll do that and the last place I put it is just um, sometimes right here where my little 11 lines are type of thing and run it up this way so this is my basic nighttime routine very very simple that's it um, and now I will just do my hair up and uh, go to bed and let me show you how I do my hair. Now, many nights I will just wear a ponytail like this and, and head on into bed. But if I want my hair to be curled the next day, I have this thing that I use, which is this. And I've, I've done a short on this before where I have actually shown you how I use this, which just sits on my head like this and then I clamp this in that just kind of keeps it in place and then divide my hair in half like this this on here and uh this just helps keep it so i can start doing this and this is just really quick and easy it's i don't I'm not i'm not careful about this i just take this and wrap it around and i grab the next chunk and i wrap it around and i grab the next chunk and I wrap it around and the next just keep going until I have all of this hair wrapped up in this chunk by chunk like I said I'm not careful I'm just kind of doing it like this and then wrapping it all the way around until it's like this and then I just put this little thing on here All right, and I do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I just make sure these are all kind of tucked in here. And then I take these along the back and I just tuck them into each of the other little things. And this is going to allow me to go to sleep pretty easily. So it's kind of loose right now, but that's it. This is what it looks like. And I will go to sleep. I can sleep comfortably in this. It, um, these are spongy. And that way when I take my hair out in the morning, it'll all have that wonderful curl without a lot of heat damage. So this, my friends, is my nighttime routine. It's very simple. 
Now, the most important part of my nighttime routine is I do a gratitude practice every single night. And whether I'm doing it in the bathroom or doing it in my bed, I find three things in my day, a minimum of three, that I'm grateful for. One of them that I'll share tonight is that I'm able to be with you tonight. And that's always a blessing in my life. And you can do this any day, even if you're having a really bad day, you can find three things in your life to be thankful for. I was able to do that even on the night that my son died. So if I can do that on the worst day of my life, you can do it as well. And so just go back through your day, find three things. I mean, sometimes the days are like, Oh my gosh, I got a great parking spot going to like Target or something. I don't know. Just, it makes you go back through your day, look at the highlights, and then make sure that as you're closing your eyes before you go to sleep each night, that you're ending your day with positive thoughts and being thankful for being here. I'm thankful for you being here. And as usual, thank you for watching. And juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Keep your nighttime skincare routine simple. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.